Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ashton Jackson. And in today's video, man, I'm going to be talking about the Dallas Cowboys beating the Las Vegas Raiders 27-20. Uh, to 20, uh, 27 to 12, I'm sorry. And the preseason week two matchup. And it was a really good game. I, I was proud of guys like Trey Lance. Um, Deuce Vaughn had a really good game today as well, averaging 6.8 yards per uh, carry when he was touching the ball. Racy McMath towards the end of the game had uh, really – Nice chunk catches across the middle of the field. He got a really nice catch that eventually led to a Trey Lance quarterback draw into the end zone in the fourth quarter. Ryan Florida had a really nice uh, route against Jack Jones, and uh, that caused for a touchdown to be thrown by Trey Lance to the back right pylon. And and really, it was just a really good game all around. Uh, John Stevens had a couple of nice catches. He had two catches, 16 yards. Nathaniel P. had a really nice catch, one catch for 15 yards. Uh, Schoolmaker had 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 a nice game, had a nice catch today and all. But I'm talking about that, all that and more after the intro. So before we hop to the video, I appreciate if you guys like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment and share my video with anyone who you think will enjoy my content, man. Yeah. They say shit about this and about that. They got shit to say about everything, but let's get to the fact. Trying to cut out all the real shit. Score was 27 to 12. It was a really nice catch. Uh, it was a really nice game, really. You know, you gotta be, you gotta be a different type of person if you're, if you're a different type of uh, Dallas Cowboy fan. If you're gonna be staying up this late to watch the Dallas Cowboys play just a regular preseason game, but it was a good game overall. I thought it was a really good game by our uh, second uh, string players. I really felt like we did a really good job. Our second string versus the Raiders starters. I did notice that a lot. I really did like what Tyler Guyton was able to do in his efforts today. Same thing with Cooper Beebe when he was getting his first half snaps as well. Getting to the second level, tossing players to the ground and doing what he normally does. Um, I was really proud of today the, the the defense as well. The defense as well I was really proud of. Also, uh, the way we were able to run the ball today against the Las Vegas Raiders was also very telling to me. Um, you know, now were the Raiders playing all of their starters? For the most part, they were. Outside of Devontae Adams, I believe they started every single starter. Crosby, uh, Christian Wilkins, their big time for Aiden signing that they signed. Uh, Trayvon Morick, you know, most of their starters were playing. Tyree Wilson is in the starter, but he was their second string player. But they had some really nice uh, plays out there to make. Um, uh, William Harvey played really good today versus Michael Mayer. Our run fits were a little bit terrible in the first. Not a little bit. They were terrible at times when the Raiders were running the ball. I did see a lot of chunk plays that the Raiders would have. A great pass breakup by Winey in the first in the first quarter. Uh, there was a great tackle by uh, Maris Lufau on third down. And then Willie Harvey again. Just I've seen that name like three or four times because I was taking notes of this game. Um, I saw Willie Harvey make a couple of great plays today. There was a great uh, pass breakup he had in the, in the fourth quarter. And then... Uh, Jalen Tober had a nice con had a nice catch where he had to concentrate to make it. It was against uh, Jack Jones, and Jack Jones uh, was playing the ball very heavily. That's when Cooper Rush was in the game. Jack Jones could easily have an interception, but Jalen Tober, being a lot bigger than Jack Jones, he was able to just really just put his hand, but just really just put his hands up um, overneath uh, overhead of uh, Jack Jones was able to scoop the ball out of his hand and uh, was able to make a play on that. Marshawn Nealon, man, he he did really great today as well. Uh, when he was getting pressure on the on the left tackle of the Las Vegas Raiders down on the goal line, and then also uh, when Wynia was playing uh, one high in this one look where we were playing man coverage, and the Raiders really were just running a crosser to the left receiver, but then on backside they had that wide receiver running a, a post. And Wanye being the one high single side safety or one high safety, I'm trying to say, he played down on the crosser instead of playing up top where, you know, if you're the one high safety, that's all you are. You're just the last, you're the last line of the pass defense and last line of defense in general. I wish that he would have played that a little bit better and he would have gotten back and helped out Andrew Booth. Andrew Booth looked solid today. I know he did give up that big catch in the first quarter, but other than that, he was tackling very, very well. He made a couple of nice pass breakups, but he was decent in today's showing. Um, I know he only got a few snaps in the first game versus the Rams, but in this game he had a lot of uh, burn, and I really liked that a lot. Again, there was a lot of great plays today by the defense. Maris had a, a good game. So did um, Wanye. Wanye. Other than that, one bad play by Wanye Thomas. Wanye made a lot of great plays today as well. 
I was very, very proud of him. Israel Mukwamu, same thing, had a nice play today. Almost had a near interception. Other than that, he has some PBUs as well. So they're making this final uh, 53 very hard for a lot of, very hard on Zim and Mike McCarthy and the coaches to keep some of these guys around. It was really great showing about today's, um, showing in today's matchup, right? Uh, two straight series, Cooper Rush was out there. Um, Malik Davis was the first running back on the first drive with Cooper Rush. Um, so I was looking at also, that was something I talked about in last night's video. Um, how was the running back carries going to be um, displayed? <clears throat> Malik Davis was out there. Malik Davis has some decent runs. Then Royce Freeman was the starting back on the second series. Uh, then there was a penalty by Matt Willetsko. And then after that, because of that penalty, set the offense back 10 yards. It was a legal hand to the face. And then it was a drop pass by Schoolmaker on the very next play. Then we ran a, a running back draw to Royce Freeman. He got a decent gainage on that as well. Uh, but then also, leading in that first quarter, after we got a three and out by the um, Las Vegas Raiders, Raiders had the ball. We were going to give them to be a three and out. Uh, we were getting to the quarterback. We had a horrible rush contained versus Gardner Minshew. And then while we were blitzing uh, Wanye, he came in and made a nice pass breakup all in the first quarter. This is, you know, really great by that. Uh, there was also a really great run stop after that uh, blitz that Wanye was on where he uh, got in the backfield in the quarterback's face and just battered the ball down. Very next play, Marshall Nealon had a very, very, very great stop uh, by the run. And he was so hyped up on the play that he started smacking the running back. And the ref was like, hey, man, you got to calm down before I flag you. You know, he he, he gave Marshawn Nealon a warning. But, again, um, in a real-life game, Marshawn Nealon can't do that. And, if, and, again, people on bubble wrapping and be like, okay, that's it. I don't need to see no more. I don't need to see no more of uh, Marshawn Nealon. Like, that's it of Marshawn Nealon. He's a really great player. He's going to be our – He's going to be in that rotation of defensive ends, and I really like that we have him, really like that we signed him. So, you know, I signed him, but drafted him. I like that the Dallas Cowboys took the defensive end spot very seriously after guys like Dorrance Armstrong and Dante Fowler had departed from the team. So I'm really glad that the Cowboys had did that and got a guy like Marshawn Nealon. I think he's going to be a really special player for us, seriously, not just clout or anything like that. Uh, also, there was a great, jo there was great job by Tyrus Wheat. They ran a... Uh, tight end screen. Uh, Tyrus Reed was running at the quarterback. The Garner Minshew threw it right over Wheat's head. Wheat turned around, tackled Michael Merritt only for like a, I think it was either at the line of scrimmage or it was only a gain of one yard. And that was, again, another really heads up play by Tyrus Wheat, uh, making it very interesting for this team to um, cut players and things of that nature, right? Then. Jalen Marino Cropper had a decent game today. He did have a fumble on the punt return. There was also there was some highlights. There was some low lights. Uh, there was some decent plays by him today. I think he did pretty solid. But um, him having that uh, fumble wasn't really that good as well. Again, uh, thank God the defense was able to get a turnover on downs on that situation. So that play ended up being a minus. But again, if that was in the regular season, he was returning a punt. And the team goes down there and scores. That's, you know and we lose by seven points, then that would have been the clear factor. If we lose by seven points in a real game, then you would have seen that be the factor and be the reason why we probably had lost was because of a Jalen Moreno uh, Cropper type of uh, fumble on the punt return. But again, uh, we were fine, right? Uh, Trey Lance got in on the third drive. Guyton was, was still playing left tackle. and Guyton, Guyton was playing for almost the entire first half, which again, I talked about that is that I wanted – I wanted to know what Guyton, Tyler Guyton was going to look like versus a guy like Max Crosby. I don't know why they didn't have Max Crosby over on that side. They have Max Crosby over on Matt. Well, let's go again. If we're playing find the scrub, if we're playing um, pass rush scenarios, Max Crosby is really great in the pass rush game and in the run game as well. But I figured that Max Crosby was going to possibly line up where Guyton was. But again, Crosby was doing his thing today. I can't even shame him at all. He was really good today. Uh, then Deuce Vaughn. When Deuce Vaughn was getting the ball towards the end of their uh, first quarter, when the first quarter was about to end, we gave the ball to Deuce Vaughn twice. He got a seven-yard game, and then after that, he got a nine-yard game. And then on that uh, seven-yard gain, it was a really great run block. No, it was on that nine-yard. My bad. That nine-yard gain on the right side when Deuce Vaughn broke free for a little bit, it was really nice um, blocks for the tight ends. Uh, being Schoonmaker and then John Stevens. Second quarter, 
Uh, Trey Lance had a couple of uh, bad throws. Uh, you know, of course, you know, Trey Lance ran the ball. Uh, had He always does at a decent rate. I think uh, Eric Scott was solid in today's game. Uh, I will admit that he was really good. And then um, number 43, again, you know, it's hard to keep up with all these players' names. But number 43 did a really good, great job today. I saw him tackling. He was playing on the ball very good today. Um, he was he got he caught a pick six a in the third quarter. Again, number forty three is going to make it very hard for him to uh, again get cut from the roster. Uh, then there was another pass where Lance threw the ball to Jalen Marino Cropper on the backside on his hip, and he should have thrown it uh, right in the numbers. Again, you know, Trey Lance has to get better at that in tight coverage, man coverage, and your receiver has that, and they want the inside release. You got to throw it into their their body. You can't throw it too high, too low, back on you know on their backside. You can't do it because that's how picks happen and things of that nature, right? I really was impressed by Andrew Booth not being scared to tackle again when you're playing special teams as like the fourth, fifth corner. You're gonna have to get used to tackling, especially when you know playing out there for Clemson and being in a you know all ACC type of corner. Really great as well. Royce Freeman had a had a. Had a nice game today as well. Ryan Fournier was decent today. I, I liked what he was doing a lot, especially in the second quarter. Brandon Aubrey hitting that 66-yard field goal and him hitting the back of the net. Dang well, he could have moved back another four or six yards and could have kicked it from 70. It would have been money. Uh, Brandon Aubrey, we already know, is money. Uh, Brandon Smooth Aubrey, we already know we have a really great kicker. Uh, Kevin Hartman, formerly from the Washington Commanders, came over to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, been making a lot of great plays. Uh, proud of that for him. Uh, there was a great rally tackle also in the third quarter. Uh, bro, Julius Wood, I talked about that in my previous video, saying that we got to find a way to keep Julius Wood. He had a really nice tackle for loss in the third quarter with about two minutes and 50 seconds left to go. And Then, then again, I talked about number 43. He had a really great pick six, had a really good game today. Uh, there was a nice catch and run today by Nathaniel Pete in the fourth quarter. Uh, nice throw to by Trey to Racy McMath, and then back to back throws. It was like that. It was really great. I really like what we were doing with that. And then to end off the offensive drive in the fourth quarter, uh, quarterback, uh, you know, there was just quarterback draw by Trey Lance and easily went in there and scored. There was a scruffle at the end that led to a 15 yard penalty because of Josh Ball uh, waving out one of the Raiders players in their faces and called that for taunting. Things of that nature. Again, it was a really good game. I liked what Trey Lance was doing. I liked what the offense was doing. I really liked what the defense was doing. To hold the Raiders to 12 points. And you made Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell both look ordinary in today's game. And that's fine. You know, it's preseason. They didn't have Devontae Adams. It wasn't a real game. It wasn't a real play script. But I like what was Zimmer and how he has this team defensively playing really fast. And, you know, it doesn't. It looks like it's not really going to skip a beat, and I really cannot wait for what this starting defense looks like with Neyland, Osa, Mozzie, D-Law, Micah, uh, Diggs, Bland, Lewis, Malik, Wanye, uh, Marquise Bell, Donovan Wilson. I'm very intrigued to see what this defense is going to do with a very disciplined coach. I really liked what we were doing today. Uh, with the penalties as well, we weren't. I can I can only remember that one penalty of taunting, and then there was another penalty by Matt Walesco. But I believe I, if I'm tracking it right, we only had uh, two penalties in today's game. But uh, let me double check as well because I got the stats. So we had eight penalties. I don't remember all eight, but I think a lot of them came on that uh, new dynamic kickoff rule as well. Um, but again, we dominated the Raiders in rushing. We had 137 yards, so they're 68. Uh, they threw the ball a lot more because, of course, they were down. They uh, threw the ball for 247 to our 157, and they had more total yards than we did. Uh, we had better yards per play. We had more first downs than them. They were better than us on third down. Uh, we were better than them on fourth down, and they ran more total plays than us. We didn't allow any sacks. They punted more. Uh, we punted more than them, and uh, we both – Panned out on turnovers today, but our one turnover it turned into a touchdown, and uh, theirs didn't. And they also won, of course, with uh, time of possession. Again, when you're winning the total plays, you want to win time of possession. That was a really good game by the Dallas Cowboys, and let's build off of this and uh, let's see what they do next week for camp. So that's about it for the video. Hope you guys have a nice day. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye.